When making a donation, a donor may want to pay tribute by making a donation in honor or in memory of someone. Let's take a look at how to indicate these tribute opportunities using the Nonprofit Success Pack. This important information is entered on an opportunity record in the Tribute Information section. These fields allow you to enter the honoree's name as well as information about who should be notified of the gift and how the notification should be made. When creating a tribute opportunity, you may need to create up to three new contacts, one for the donor, one for the honoree, and one for the person to be notified of the gift. Let's take a look at a simple example. A donor, Juan Brady, has given a $100 donation in honor of Jasmine Hoist. Jasmine Hoist is a volunteer with the organization and is already a contact in Salesforce. Scroll down on Juan Brady's $100 opportunity record to tribute information. Set the tribute type to honor. Next, look up the honorary contact, Jasmine Hoist. I am going to leave the honorary name field blank as Salesforce will automatically populate the honorary name field with the contact's full name. Note, honorary contact is not a required field, so if the person being honored is deceased or shouldn't be added into Salesforce, you don't have to create a new contact. Instead, enter their name in the honorary name field. Lastly, fill in the notification recipient information fields. These fields are how Jasmine, or members of Jasmine's family, should be notified about the donation. In this case, let's say Juan would like us to notify Jasmine a donation was made in her honor. Once again, start typing her name to look up Jasmine's contact record in the notification recipient contact field. Save your tribute information and you're done. As you review the tribute information, you can see the honorary name field was populated with Jasmine Hoist. Check out the NPSP documentation for more details and best practices. Thanks for watching!